Hey everybody, I am fortunate enough to be going on a trip to France for the next couple weeks centered around art and art making. And while I'm not quite certain what our days are going to look like, I do know that there will be some time for art making in a studio setting and some plein air work as we travel along on day trips. So I thought I would share with you uh, my two little travel kits that I've put together to make life easier for me while I'm there. This first one is the tiny kit, which I would take with me if we are gallivanting around some villages or out for a meal or whenever something strikes my fancy that I would like to sketch or draw. So it's just a simple little makeup purse a moleskin sketchbook with some pretty sturdy paper in it so it should hold up to a little bit of wet media, a water brush, uh, an ink pen, and these very cool little um, watercolor sheets that don't take up much room at all and have an entire full palette and all it takes is a little bit of water on the brush here uh, and then you'll you'll have a fully loaded brush to be able to transfer to your painting or sketch which I think is just terrific and they all fit right in here and can go in a small handbag as I go through the day for the studio work I know I need to bring more stuff but certainly not my whole studio. There will be paper available for us when we get there uh, and a, a few bits of acrylic paint, but I, I don't think much else. So I put together a larger kit for those purposes. So this is a Windsor, Neuter, Windsor Newton travel bag, mostly for watercolorists. Um, I've had it for years and haven't used it very often. It's got a, a nifty little waist strap so I can look like a real American tourist with my fanny pack. And it's got places for brushes. I'm probably bringing too many, but you never know what'll happen. It has a place for this very cool fold-up water container that fits right in back here. It doesn't take up any room at all. I have an assortment of pencils, charcoals, pens that can sneak in here along with a pencil sharpener and eraser. And just because I think I might not have enough colors in the small kit, I'm bringing another small watercolor kit that I hacked a little bit because it only came with um, 12 colors and a place for a brush down the middle, but I jammed in six more colors from another kit that I had uh, knowing that I have places for brushes and this gives me some room for mixing and so forth. So that all fits in there. I've got a couple more water brushes. Zip that up. And then something new that um, I, haven't, I haven't tried yet, except for playing around here at home, are these uh, Gansai Tambi graphite colors. So again, that's um, a dry pan that that you can stick a wet brush in and it gives these beautiful iridescent graphite colors that I thought would be probably terrific for doing some landscape work and give some good effects rather than just pencil. So that will take me out and about and also some good studio time as well. And since I can't bring a ton of paints, I am bringing some Neocolor water-soluble crayons, which I use in my work all the time. And also a little bag of Inktense 
blocks which will dry um, permanently so unlike watercolor it won't lift if they get wet again I love these things and they're not taking up much space so I can still fit them in here and be able to close everything up at the end of the day so that will all zip up fit in my suitcase still small enough to carry around with me there will be these two sketchbooks one has watercolor paper one has um, drawing paper i love these these are handbook sketchbooks they are really terrific very well made and i get i get some whenever i can get my hands on them and hopefully they'll be on sale so those will be coming along with me one for sketching one for wet work and the only other thing that I'll be bringing along is a spray bottle. I used to have a smaller one, about half this size, but I've been um, tearing the studio apart and I must have thrown it away. So I'll bring this one instead, bring it along empty in the suitcase and fill it as I go. So a spray bottle is just really useful for dampening down a piece of watercolor paper or, um, or even the paints in the tin as you go. So I think between this and this, I'm all set for a good two weeks of painting and drawing in the French countryside.